In the last video, we learned about uh, proper divisors. So now let's move to the perfect numbers. So if you are asked that whether any given number is perfect or not, then what would be the way to do it? So the perfect numbers, perfect numbers, perfect numbers are, are those numbers whose sum of all the proper divisors of all the proper divisors is equal to that number to that number itself what does that mean let's let's take number 5 so 5 can be written as in the form of factors can be written as 1 times 5 right and are there any other factors possible the answer is no 5 is a prime number and any prime number has only two factors that is 1 and another factor would be that number itself so in this case first factor is 1 and the next factor is 5 5 is a prime number so going by this definition by this definition which we saw here that whose sum of all the proper divisors is equal to that number itself in this case like we saw in the previous video that the proper divisors of any number is all the factors other than that number on itself so in this case one is the only proper divisor so there is no point of adding anything in that because it says the sum of all the proper divisors is equal to that number itself so that the proper divisors divisor is only one and the number is five so one is not equal to five therefore five is not a perfect number what about three three is also a prime number you know that and it could be written as in the form of factors one times three and the proper divisor of 3 is 1 so you cannot add any other thing into 1 because there's only one proper divisor there's only one proper divisor for 3 and that is 1 and of course 1 is not equal to 3 in any case because uh, 3 is a prime number and uh, it has only one proper divisor that is 1 and of course 1 is not equal to 3 so 3 is also not a perfect number neither 5 not three both are not a perfect number what about six what about six so you could you would say hey i can write six in a form of factors as one times six and i can write it as two times three also so you'd say that hey there are four factors for six that is one six two and three but there are three proper devices going by the definition of proper devices we know that we have only three proper devices that is one two and three so you write down all the proper devices here one and then two and then three now going by this definition it says that perfect numbers are those numbers whose sum of all the proper devices is equal to that number itself so in this case we have three proper devices and if we add it and if we add it the proper devices if we add it we get the number 6 and hey this number 6 and this number 6 is equal so the sum of proper devices is equal to that number itself therefore therefore 6 is a perfect number therefore 6 is a perfect number what about seven what about seven so you would again say that hey seven is a prime number we know that and it's it could be written as one times seven of course if there's only one proper divisor that is one and of course you cannot find the sum of all the proper devices because it has only one proper divisor and one is of course not equal to seven therefore seven is not a proper uh, is not a perfect number what about nine so 9 could be written as 1 times 9 in the form of factors 1 times 9 and 3 times 3 so there are two fact there are four factors of 9 that is 1 9 3 uh, sorry there are three factors for 9 that is 1 9 and 3 and 
therefore you have two proper divisors of 9 and that is that are 1 and 3 and going by this definition if you add these two numbers you get only 4 and 4 is not equal to 9 therefore this is not a perfect number this is 9 is not a perfect number now you would be wondering that hey then what's the next perfect number like if you you found form for 6 and what's the next perfect number so tell you that so i want to tell you that for after 6 you have the number 28 as a perfect number you would be surprised that hey uh, the first number is the the first number that was that was perfect is 6 and the next one is 28 neither i mean between 6 and 28 there are no other perfect numbers that satisfy that condition so for 28 you can check it let's let's move to some other page yeah, nearly there Let's take for 28. So you can write 28 as 1 times 28 and you can write it as 2 times 14 and you can write it as 4 times 7. Now there are 6 total, total number of 6, 6 total number of factors. There are total 6 factors for 28 and the, uh, those are 1, 28, 2, 14, 4 and 7. Therefore, the proper devices for 28 are 1, then 2, then 14, then, sorry, let, let me take first 4, 4 and then 7, then 7 and then 14. These are all proper devices of 28. And if you add these numbers, if you add these numbers, then this number would be 2 plus 1 is 3, 3 plus 4 is 7, 7 plus 7 is 14, and 14 plus 14 is 28. That is, if you add all these numbers, you'll get 28. And hey, we have 28 here, and we have 28 here. That is, 28 was in the question, and 28 is the sum of all the proper devices so it satisfies our definition of a perfect number that is the sum of all the proper devices should be equal to the that number itself and that number would be a perfect number